Every December at Carnegie Mellon's Entertainment Technology Center, student work from the semester gets showcased in a huge celebration that gathers together students and faculty, friends and family, and alumni and industry professionals. Unfortunately, because of restrictions in place due to COVID-19, we'll all be experiencing the festival from home for the first time in over 20 years. Cloudworks is the ETC student project team responsible for creating and hosting the first ever ETC virtual festival on Saturday, December 12th, 2020. The festival that we're delivering consists of three main elements, a website, a live stream, and an MMO style virtual space. The website stands as the public facing front of the event with information for attendees or those curious about the festival. Visitors are able to access student information and portfolios, a repository of selected asynchronous student work, the live stream of the event, and a download link to the virtual festival. On the day of the event, we are hosting two three hour long live stream sessions on YouTube, one in the morning and one in the evening. Each session will highlight different student work that has been featured within the virtual festival space, including tours around the environment, coverage of the visual storytelling videos, and Q&A sessions with each second year project team. Being publicly viewable, the live stream serves as an option for those who are unable to join the virtual space and still want to experience the festival. Finally, we have our MMO style virtual space, available for invited guests with Windows PCs. In order to schedule this event and accommodate the variety of time zones we were expecting from both students and guests, and to ease the burden on our servers, we spaced out three three-hour long sessions throughout Saturday that ETC students would be on call for. Guests had the opportunity to explore four unique spaces. In the Visual Storytelling Theater, guests could view the three primary projects created by each of the class's project teams. In the Project Park, guests could view half-sheet information about each project and jump into Zoom rooms with the second-year project teams. Walking around the two BVW Carnival areas, guests were able to enter BVW rooms decorated by the students who made the project, download and launch BVW Worlds, and enter Zoom rooms with the teams to play the games. Being invitation only, we created a login system that relied on assigning guests a first and last name, as well as an invitation code unique to their profile. This allowed them to log in and out while keeping their entered profile information within the database. After logging in, guests have the opportunity to create an avatar by mixing and matching head, torso, and bottom pieces created in part by many ETC students to represent themselves in space. Once in the space, guests are able to chat with one another using either a one-to-one -one direct calling feature, group chat booths spread throughout the space, or text chat. While the spoken goal of every festival is to present student work to the extended ETC network, the underlying goal of every festival is to drive home the sense of connection and camaraderie to the ETC. 2020 has been a difficult year for everyone, but especially for the first year students who've never had a chance to meet any of their classmates in person. This festival helped to connect them to one another and to the greater community as a whole. Seeing them celebrate and relive the day in the festival space hours after the event ended helped us to know that we were successful in achieving this goal. For more information, please visit our development blog at the link on screen.